First game of the year, Toledo kicked to Bryant, and he returned it for a touchdown. And Joe Teller a little surprised that teams are still kicking to him. Let's see what Notre Dame does here to start the game. And they kick it away to the near side, but it'll be Bryant anyway at the 25. And good starting field position for Bryant. Purdue as Bryant takes it to... And a guy like Jimmy Clausen. And an opportunity there for Notre Dame to get a little bit of confidence to start the game, but a penalty gives Purdue a first down, and then Sheets with a huge run on first and ten. And he picks up... And cross. Yep. <laughs> on first down at the 40, Painter with a ton of time. Bryant is there! And down to the 22-yard line before Zibikowski. Second and six. It'll be Sheets again. Big hole inside the 10 and down to the 7-yard line. Zibikow I went to the Rose Bowl. With some impressive numbers early in the season for the Purdue quarterback. Second in the country in touchdowns. Looking for number 17 here as the ball's batted into the air and incomplete. It was intended for Dustin Keller and knocked away by Maurice. NFL was with the Jets last year as a defensive backs coach as the 27-yard field goal try by Chris Summers. No reason, so look out for him here this afternoon. And he will throw on first down. And he's got a strike to midfield. That's a gain of about 15 yards and a first. Backs. Uh, he that was his first start last week of his career. Clawson, couple of pump fakes, then dumps it off out of the backfield to Jabby, and he's going to lose yardage. Justin Scott, the first. Young football team. Play fake, and Painter going deep. Lyman is open. He burned Notre Dame last year for 238 yards and a couple of touchdowns. And a big... On the outside, 21-yard completion for Painter. And to the ground, Sheets. Huge hole. Sheets inside the 40, all the way to the 37 as they gash the Irish on the... Sheets had over 100 yards rushing and a touchdown against Minnesota last week. Here he goes again. Very solid pickup on first down, getting a handful because of a new defense. Corwin Brown replacing the fired Rick Minter. They go from a 4-3 to a 3-4 as Painter goes to Bryant for the first down to the 15-yard line. That's a pickup of 18. About 180 pounds. Here's Sheets getting the call. Able to get away from Zivikowski. And then finally wrapped up at the six-yard line by Lambert at a six-yard line for second down. Sheets off the left side to the one. And a first down and goal at the one coming up. Bruton saves the touchdown. Second time Purdue's had the... They need to. So many times you hear about a passing offense that can't get physical. They get down in the red zone. They'll stick their nose in there. Sheets diving for the goal line. And he's in. Touchdown, Purdue. Fifth touchdown for Sheets. It's 9-0 Boilermakers. But Corey Sheets has tremendous athletic ability. And you see it there with big runs and a couple of long pass plays. Summer's extra point is good. <laughs> Never do push-ups next to a Heisman Trophy no, you, winner. You were, you were all right, though. You had a couple of diamond push-ups going. Only a couple, huh? Here's a pass caught by West. Good move, and he gets the first down to the 43-yard line. All right, Coach, and Purdue has struggled in the second half of games, the last two, on defense as Clawson takes off. You know, already, Andre, just watching him here compared to the first four. Things off right here, Dave. And he gets an opportunity often to talk with his brother Casey, who is currently the quarterback coach at uh, Jimmy's former high school, Oaks Christian in Westlake Village, California. Cross into the air on third down. It's caught by the tight end Carlson, but going to be short of the first down. Dan Bick on Notre Dame's going for it on fourth down and one. It'll be the true freshman Hughes, who dies for the first down and does not have it. Keon Brown, the initial hit for Purdue. Well, when it goes bad, it goes bad. Keon on both of its possessions so far, but no points. Conversely, Purdue with 10. And the Boilermakers had it again. First down from the 35. Here's Bryant. And reversing field, getting a block from his quarterback, Painter. And finally, Bryant down to the 28 by Trevor Laws. They've got a long way to go in the season. It is Chad Henney's job. Painter on second and 18. Pressure coming. Painter down. Trevor Laws with the sack back at the 15-yard line. Well, he's a lone returning starter on the base with a third down and 29. And Painter going deep. Orton's open, and it's a first down to midfield. 
Purdue converts a third down and 29. Walls eventually made the tackle. <laughs> right now they lead Notre Dame 10 to nothing as Painter fires incomplete on third down and nine. And the Boilermakers will have to punt. Well, the IRA returns for touchdowns. That's tied for first all time at Notre Dame. But you mentioned he was a professional boxer. Maybe he can throw a knockout punch right here. He won't. Fair catch. It. And he lets it bounce inside the 10. A handful of Boilermakers down there, and the ball never crossed the goal line, so it'll be Notre Dame ball at the one. Stanford Kegler, the first to hit the ball at the one yard line. Well, when it rang, a tough spot for a young quarterback to start this drive. And Clawson will throw out of his end zone. Has a ton of time, and wide open is David Grimes to the 19 yard line. The coming of age out of there with the ball. And now on third down and nine, Clawson eludes pressure and throws an interception. Picked off by Vinson at the 30-yard line. And finally dropped at the 25 as Clawson makes a freshman error. I'll say a freshman error. That is just a freshman huge mistake. You can't, you'll hear me off. Could be on Andre Ware's Heisman Trophy Battle Royal list. We'll tell you about that later. And Sheets with again a huge running lane, this time off the right side, down to the 11-yard line for about 14 yards before does not have to get into the end zone. And it's still bunch formation to the left. Right here, you see the bunch. And Painter waiting. And Painter hit, and he throws it away. That should be grounding, and there's the flag. And that'll be a loss of down as well. I just made it a longer field goal. Hard line. Only 10 points so far. Looking for three more. And Summers is two for two. Irish have yet to convert a third and ten or more this season. Clawson on third and ten. Has Grimes on a crossing route, but no way. Down at the 32. Got only four. Going around the program right now. Well, I think uh, the buzz started with last year getting in the NCAA tournament and beating Arizona. And uh, we got a great recruiting class. And we got a lot of guys returning, so we're excited about it. They will send it up to you for that play. Yeah, big play there, Brandon. All right, guys, back up to you. Good stuff, Aaron. And he has done a great job. He looks about 16 years old. Yeah. <laughs> That's caught by Jake Standyford inside the 40. Going into this his senior year, John was the all-time leader in receiving at Purdue before Taylor Stubblefield. Painter getting out of trouble, and there's Dorian Bryant diving for the first down. They're going to say he was down at the 29-yard line. Aiden didn't like running in circles. <laughs> didn't see the point. Now he just runs by his defender. Runs by defenders. Keller on the catch. Nice move by the tight end of the 15. Another first down for Purdue. John Ryan on the tackle. And we go back to this. That they've got two excellent classes. The freshman class for next year, and then currently the junior class. As Dorian Bryant makes an incredible adjustment in midair, and it's another Purdue touchdown. That, my friend, is called winning with the throw. He's going to draw the flag of the official. Perfectly thrown football. Summer's extra point is good. At the NFL. He made some nice athletic plays for the Iris last week against Michigan State. How about the Cubs? Congratulations. They win the division. Here's Allen, and a great open field tackle, and the ball's fumbled and recovered at the 14-yard line by Purdue. Haygood popped it out. Well, I tell you, that move has paid tremendous dividends for Joe Tiller, Brock Patspack, the defensive coordinator of a lot of man-under type routes and hitting receivers on the run. Painter looking for his tight end, Keller, and Notre Dame holds again. So good job by the Irish defense after the turnover. Summers two for two. This will be a 26-yard try and make it three for three. He's hit from 34, from 27, and now from 26. And they've had some great defensive ends here. Anthony Spencer, Roosevelt Colvin, Sean Phillips, Chike O'Keefer, Averill, who was a linebacker before this year, makes a nice play. And then Clawson makes a nice play, finding George Go. Clawson has trouble with the bad snap and has to dive on it. Back in Notre Dame. Tip. Keep him off the field. But Charlie Weiss coming into this game wanted to throw it, and he has done so. Clawson going deep. And 
it is caught inside the 20 yard line by true freshman Golden Tate. Penalty flags down. Touchdowns in 07. This is a third down and 10. Here comes the pressure. Clawson again running for his life and throwing it away. And there comes the penalty flag for. He was a little too close for comfort. From 35 yards. Blocked! And picked up by the Boilermakers, Mike McDonald. And McDonald almost gets to midfield. Alex McGee blocked it, and McDonald takes it out to the 50-yard line. Where well, they're going to get pressure from the left. I wouldn't, because it gets swatted. <laughs> Here's Painter underneath to Lyman. This is still a lot of time for Purdue's dangerous offense, and Lyman going to stop the clock and then a late hit. Hit out of bounds by Bruton and Zivakowski. Another penalty on Notre Dame. Now you talk about a high-powered offense, 47 seconds left in the first half, and they still have a timeout. That's a lot of time. Take into account that every time you get a first down. Personal foul, late hit out of bounds, number 27 on the defense. It's a 15-yard penalty added to the end of the run. First down. Every day for Purdue. Play fake. Painter with a ton of time. Pass downfield. Picked off inside the five-yard line by Kyle McCarthy. But Painter tried to force that one. Had a receiver right in front of him on the ground for the Irish. How about that? 32 plays for Purdue in Notre Dame territory. Good throw by Clawson. It's a first down to midfield. Caught by a painful for Notre Dame offensively. But they do have a conversion today at third down and 10 plus. And Clawson, somebody's got to get open. Guys just standing around as Clawson runs out of bounds. You got to help your quarterback out a little bit downfield. Well, that's the big third down for Notre Dame's defense. And Painter surveying the field, finds his tight end Dustin Keller, and great second effort might be enough for the first down as he had Kyle McCarthy riding him for an additional two yards. Yeah, tough, hard fought ball game they're going through down there with the green wave. Meanwhile, it's been pretty easy for Purdue, and Painter underthrows it, and Zivakowski intercepts. That's what Notre Dame needs as it's picked off by the senior Zivakowski, the two-time All-American. Well, they blitz Joe Brockington. And that's two interceptions by Painter today. Had only one the whole season coming in. Clawson hangs in there and makes a big-time throw as he gets crunched. Caught inside from the Purdue 22. Clawson into the air again. Again over the middle. And again caught at the 10-yard line by Camara. Another true freshman, 6-5. Clawson back in after going out for one play. Third down and goal. They're going to run it. And down to the five-yard line, Armando mm -hmm. Allen. So apparently Charlie White. Two freshman know. Robert Hughes in the backfield here on fourth down and goal. Clawson to the back of the end zone. And it's a touchdown. First career passing touchdown for Jimmy Clawson. He finds his veteran tight end, John Carlson. Turns out it was a good call. And it looked like, you know, a little mix-up in coverage by Torrey Williams who had checked on to the extra point well you had to think as Walker misses that you still had to think though that based on the third this game play 60 minutes on third down and 11 painters pass incomplete intended for Bryant coverage by Wooden and Purdue real quick they, they stick around for a little while sharply to throw man wide open to the 40-yard line is Robbie Paris. Down the seam. First down at the Purdue 40. Pressure coming. Sharply doesn't see it. Down he goes. Torrey Williams blitzing and taking down Sharply. Um, in two years, and now he's rehabilitated himself. He's back, and he's faster than he was before the injuries. Sharply in trouble again, but finds Carlson. And he gets positive yardage to the 37. Or again on fourth down. Sharpley's pass caught. Yep, knee was down. Paris, as he pulled it in, had his knee down. So he's down at the 31. Four. It's a running play. And Jebby wrestled down short of the 30 yard line by Eugene Bright. Let's see where they spot it. 
A touchdown pass by Clawson. See if Painter picks it up. Two interceptions already in the game. Finds Bryant. What a move by Dorian Bryant on a pretty good safety. Yeah. Zivikowski out to the 46-yard line. And Bryant. Third down and 21. Notre Dame trying to stop and get the ball back. And Painter flushed out. And pushed out. And that's really silly. Not a, not a smart play. Brian Smith, who got the cheap shot that was not seen by the official when he hit Painter in the jaw after he released the pass. But just a bonehead play on the sideline. Well, that's not even a makeup call. That's that's the call for right then. Personal foul. 58 in the defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Well, I know Charlie Weiss is saying he wasn't out of bounds. Yeah, he, he, that was say, just he can say what he wants to. Pat Hill on there from Fresno State. And Jeannie was an intern at one point with the Browns when Belichick was there. Maynard dumps it off to Sheets for the first down inside the 15. Let's check in with Scott back in the studio. Painter out of the shotgun on third down and 11. They can get a first down without having to get a touchdown as Bryant can't make the catch. That pass thrown a little hot, and it's fourth down. Boy, sometimes when you have that big arm, young quarterback. 30-yard try by Summers, who's three for three today. And he's four for four as Purdue adds three more and has a 20-point lead on Notre Dame. More was expected of them than 0-4. And they're looking at 0-5, especially if they can't convert here on fourth down and five. Sharply in for the banged up Clawson, going deep here on fourth down. And what a catch at the 20-yard line. Beautiful grab by Golden Tate, second time that he's done that. A little, little defense being played there, finally, with Illinois and Penn State. And Oklahoma has Texas next week. Jabby getting the first down to the seven-yard line. You know, going back to that pass play, 43 yards. That second down and goal. Sharply to the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Duval Camara. His first college touchdown. Well, he timed this baby. And Nate Whitaker coming on for the PAT after Brandon Walker missed the last one. And he misses this one. Hip injury. Painter's thrown two picks in this game, only one the entire season coming in. And that pass a little bit offline, and it is incomplete. Bryant could not get the foot down. And now the official's conferring, and the ruling is incomplete. It'll be four. Get it here, you, you might lose the game. Sharply, with time, has a man open, and it's caught for a first down by Paris. Well, it looks like the right decision now is Charlie Weiss. Jimmy Clausen does have a touchdown pass, but banged up, so Sharpley's out there. Here comes a blitz. It's picked up. Sharpley's pass to the sideline. Through the hands of his intended receiver incomplete. As Camaro. A running back that's in the backfield now in short yardage situations. They got 24 yards on fourth and seven. They're going to get the first down here as Sharpley on the quarterback sneak gets to the 40-yard line. Uh, he's, looked, he's looked pretty good in this football game. On third down, good decision. He found Jabby. He could have thrown to Camara, but he waited, and he found his check down for the first down to the 20. Uh, two plays. Sharply, maybe a little bit pocket presence uh, improvement over Clawson as he goes to the end zone. A diving attempt, and it's pulled in. Touchdown, and it's Golden Tate again. How about that throw by Sharpley? Tainer. He's one for two. Neither of them counted. Sharpley gets this one down. He made. Well, some great games, Scott. And oh, we're yeah. just getting started on this Saturday. The last one here in September. Couple of fakes going deep. Contact and a flag down as Orton collided with Walls. And we'll see what the ruling is here. But well, there yeah, was definitely gonna contact. Going to be interference on Darren Walls. Kind of held on to Kyle, excuse me, Greg Orton. Holding. Number two on the defense. Ten-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Now well, you get a look. Yeah. Sheets again. Big hole this time on second down. Inside the 30-yard line. That's what they were doing in the first half. Just get. Painter going to run this time, and nobody picked it up. Zibikowski backed off, and Painter gets inside the 15. He fooled everybody with that. With Corey Sheets and the running game. Painter to the air, 
And what a grab! Caught by Dustin Keller, and it's a touchdown for Purdue! Well, this is challenge. Any other replay, uh, further review would have to come from the booth. Summers on for the extra point. And a great bounce back by Purdue and tight end Dustin Keller. Auburn having some problems right now. Although that loss to South Florida at home doesn't look so bad, huh? Sharply with another strike as that's pulled in. That's Notre Dame at some point, maybe not this year, but is going to be back. Blitz situation. Sharply's pass overthrown and intercepted. Vincent's second pick today. Well, tried to go to the well again, forced one in there, and was going to John Carlson. Yeah, and that's with Charlie White. Painter takes a knee, Purdue 5 and 0, oh, Notre Dame 0 oh and 5. Final score in West Lafayette, 33 to 19.